Pet of the Week every Thursday. Sponsored by Joy Law Firm. Just call Joy. Each edition of Low Country Dog Magazine features a new shelter. In the latest issue, Carolina Poodle Rescue has earned the spotlight. Let's welcome Dennis Horn, board member for Carolina Poodle Rescue, and Lexi, an eight-year-old standard poodle and ambassador. It's good to have you both with us. Thank you. Oh, she is such a sweetheart. Where did you find her? Lexi was found as a uh, stray outside of Dorchester Paws last year uh, after they had made their attempts to find her previous owner and contact whoever. Uh, they then contacted Carolina Poodle Rescue. Mm. Uh, we work with a lot of shelters in that same fashion yeah. and we took her in. Um, she needed to have some mammary gland tumors removed oh. back in, uh, in the early part of the year. But but she obviously made a good choice in choosing you because that was a foster fail. You decided to keep her. My wife and I have adopted Lexi. Yes, yes. and that's the goal of, of Carolina Poodle Rescue and your reach goes far beyond South Carolina. You're up and down the eastern seaboard and in fact Judge Janine Pirro of Fox News, she adopted from your organization. All three of her standard poodles okay. came from Carolina Poodle and we are happy to have her uh, feature our logo and uh, website several times. That's amazing. Times. Well, tell us about the poodle because we've heard a lot about, of course, their hair as opposed to fur, but also their temperament, their personality. How would you describe them? Poodles are a very smart breed. Uh, they originated uh, as a water retrieval dog. A lot of people don't know that. Mm. Uh, and that's where uh, they actually, their coat comes out thick around the chest and the joints as a way of protecting the vital parts. Yes, and, um, and those those very interesting, fashionable uh, cuts, the, uh, the various styles. That's yes. not necessarily for fashion's sake. That actually has a purpose. It had an origin with that <laughs> being water retrieval in the cold air areas of Europe. So right, yes. right. So when you see those little tufts on their hips, that's to keep their hips warm. Yes. So it is, yeah. And Carolina Poodle Rescue, you do have a farm that's out in Spartanburg. Um, but you don't only have poodles there, you actually have a lot of other animals. Yes, we specialize in poodles, but we do a lot of the other breeds that need to be groomed and other uh, small like herding breeds like Shelties. It's Dreamweaver Farms. Dreamweaver right? Farms is our sanctuary home. Lexi, come on back. <laughs> That's our sanctuary home. There's at least 200 dogs there. Uh, some are there as sanctuary dogs uh, due to health or temperament reasons. Yeah. Um, we also have some horses, mm -hmm. a few uh, pot-bellied pigs, and we also uh, have some cats there because we do uh, cat temperament testing to ensure that the dogs are uh, okay or not okay. Oh, isn't that uh, for interesting? For their new home. Oh, that's very interesting. I've never heard of that before. Uh, since 2000 when this uh, organization got off the ground. How many dogs have you housed, homed, I should say? We have uh, rehomed 10,000 plus uh, That's amazing. dogs. That's incredible. And if people want more information, how do they get in touch with you? And how, how far away? I mean, Judge Janine, she's all the way in New York, right? So <laughs> you go beyond our, our country's borders, I hear. Yes, we even have some adopters and volunteers in Canada. Um, but our website, uh, www.carolinapoodlerescue.org. Mm -hmm. And we also have a Facebook page, Carolina Poodle Rescue. Um, to adopt is the uh, online application on our website. And, and like with any organization, shelter, what have you, donations are always accepted. Yes. So people can just go to the website, make a donation yes. there, or they can become foster families as well. You've got yes. a track for that. Yeah. And adoption, you have to fill out an application. Yes. Okay. Yes. And you've got some events coming up. Those are also listed on your website? Yes. Okay. So we're going to direct everybody to the Carolina Poodle Rescue website so you can find out all that good information because I I think this adorable one has actually earned the love and hearts of many of our viewers and I think a lot of people are going to want to go out and get a poodle. You did a great job, Ambassador Dog. Great job, Lexi. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you for We're having back us. back after this. Pet of the Week, every Thursday. Sponsored by Joy Law Firm. Just call Joy.